Hey guys, Cora Ross and Welcome to 6 News. So we have major leaks for the new season today. We've got operator loadouts, we've got like operator speeds and armor and all that. We also have some new menu items to check out along with the main menu for the new season as well. And we also just had a leak of the brand new trailer for the Defender as well. This leaked out on Twitter with the official Rainbow Six Twitter account and it was almost immediately deleted but of course it's now up on Reddit, it's everywhere. You can't delete anything on the internet. So, uh Quite a bad uh, mess up, but let's enjoy the trailer and then we'll go over all the loadouts. So I made a video earlier today and I was like, it's amazing how good Ubisoft has actually done with leaks this season. Normally we have a lot more info and they went and messed up by actually leaking all this stuff themselves. So apparently the test server for the new season, which is probably going to go live on like Monday or Tuesday, actually went live today and a few people were able to get in. Now apparently the new operators were not playable, but some people were able to get in and at least see some menus. So let's start with Warden. So he is the guy that we don't really know much about yet. We're still to get his trailer. And this is an overview of this operator. So his ability is the Google Smart Glass or the Glance Smart Glass. And it's eyebrow that improves visibility in smoke while standing still and can also be activated to protect against reduced flash blindness. I am wondering how that works then, right? So to see through smoke, you'll have to stand still. That's not too bad. That's quite useful for kind of like holding a position in like the objective and the you know opponent smoked out. But I'm guessing when it comes to the flashes, maybe that he can do that on the move. That's my kind of guess. He's also a three armor, one speed. Now I did not expect that. That's pretty interesting. And you can also see that he's got a difficulty rating as well. So for shotgun, we've got the M590A1, which is already in the game. And for submachine gun, he's got the MPX. Of course, that's Valkyrie's gun. For handguns, he's got the P10C or the SMG12, which is a pretty interesting weapon to have there. Of course, all those guns are in the game already. So no new weapons, which sucks, really sucks. He's going to have a deployable shield and he's going to have barbed wire. And you can see his icon as well. Really cool little, uh, you know, little tie and all that. Real nice. Very nice. And of course, we can see his actual profile picture there too. Pretty cool looking guy. I like him a lot. He like, kind of looks like he maybe come from like, the, I don't know, the 80s or something. But loving the moustache. And uh, Grief Drum is going to be very happy that he's got a moustache. We can also see some other UI upgrades. So apparently when you mouse over the characters, it seems to say their name underneath their icon. And there's also a dice roll icon. So I guess that's for picking a random operator. Maybe you can even hit it multiple times to get different random operators. Or maybe you just pick it once and then you'll you know spawn with a random operator. Which of course happens if you're AFK right now. But I do wonder if that's some changing that up a little bit. So let's switch over to Nuck now. So of course this is our brand new attacker. We've seen the trailer already. And this does confirm a lot of what we managed to break down from that. So her gadget is the Hell Presence Reduction. It's a counter intel that wipes her image from observation tools and reduces her noise with exceptions. So there will be exceptions. I'm thinking stuff like Bulletproof Cam. It uses thermals instead of the usual visuals. So maybe that'll be immune to it. Maybe stuff like Maestro's camera. So that's interesting that there'll be exceptions. And she's going to be two speed, two armor. Apparently a three difficulty according to this menu. Very interesting. And she doesn't have an assault rifle. She's going to have the FMG9 submachine gun. Interesting. Along with the 612 SD shotgun, which we got from the actual uh, trailer. And she's going to have the 5.7 USG pistol along with the D50 handgun. And of course, we get to see a nice picture of her profile. And uh, she looks pretty damn cool. I like the stance with the gun behind the back. That's kind of cool. And uh, overall, actually really excited about this operator. I don't know with those weapon choices though. I like, think it's a real pity we don't have new weapons. That really is uh, a sucky thing. But I don't know what I'll do with not having an assault rifle. I love my assault rifles. So yeah, interesting that you'll have a submachine gun and the 612 shotty. I think I like the uh, Defender's loadout much better than hers. So it's very, very interesting indeed. 
So there we go, guys. That is a big leak. Thanks to Ubisoft, unfortunately. And uh, we'll probably be getting the trailer for The Defender tomorrow, I expect. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.